hormone is. augmentation thing is always a little bit of a complicated discussion, mm -hmm. but there's so much that's happening there right now that's really interesting. Like what? Well, for instance, um, sort of back to the topic of supplements, I always say, look, their behaviors are the fundamental layer. You have to do the right things for anything, for sleep, for learning, for uh, sports performance. But then there's nutrition, supplementation, prescription drugs, and then off-label stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And so we always think about when you hear hormones in sports, you always think just the raw conversation about anabolics, all the banned stuff. We can yeah. talk about that stuff and how it works. Years ago, I used to work on androgens, testosterone and its derivatives and how it impacts brain development and body function, fear and, and also mental states. But there's a category of supplements that are very interesting that for most people who aren't exploring testosterone augmentation for sport, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Not, you know, 300, you know, not a tripling or anything like that. And the main ones are two substances. One is called Tongat Ali. Oh yeah, which that is, stuff's real, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Because the, what happens is the testosterone molecule, it it's basically carried in a cargo. So it can be in its free form, unbound form, free testosterone. And everyone says, oh, I want more free testosterone. You want more, but the, these, what are called sex hormone binding globulins, so there's something called sex hormone bonding globulin and albumin. They carry the testosterone molecule to the different tissues of the body. So you don't want all your testosterone free. You want some of it bound up so that it can be delivered to the different tissues, including your brain. But if you have too much sex hormone bonding globulin, the testosterone can't really do its things, okay? So Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Had interest. And ab yeah. absolutely, and, we, and we, it'd be an interesting conversation to talk about the role of testosterone in, in neural repair. It's very interesting. Mm. But when you look at TRT, I mean, the way that the clinics and the doctors typically do it is to give 200 milligrams and then send people out for two weeks and then they come back because they can charge them to come back repeatedly. It's clear that on a, without any TRT, the testes normally make anywhere from 7 to 15 milligrams of testosterone per day. So taking this massive dose and then waiting two weeks is absolutely foolish. It doesn't, it's amazing to me that the, the medical profession does this because it doesn't match anything about the normal patterns of endocrinology. It's just not how the body works. The way it's been described to me to do it is to do it um, with an insulin syringe and to do a tiny amount every three days. Right. That's correct. Yeah. So 0.2 mil, you know, 0.2 mm -hmm. mils. So maybe, you know, yeah. 20 to 60 milligrams every, every few days, every third day or so. Right. That much more closely matches the normal pattern of release and avoids these estrogenic crashes. And a lot of problems that are, that are layered onto estrogen are actually problems with prolactin, which is a molecule that's involved in milk gut down and lactating women, oh. but it actually shuts down the sexual desire and aggression. You know, when uh, this is interesting about prolactin, so um, this happens in brooding birds and it happens in humans. They've done this. A study published in the journal Nature, which is our kind of apex journal, showed that when the husbands of pregnant women, because of something, maybe a pheromone, maybe some odor of the pregnant woman, actually increases the man's prolactin when they're pregnant, puts body weight on the guy, starts laying down body fat, presumably to prepare the father for the long sleepless nights ahead because humans have always co-parented. So it's a very interesting thing, but uh, the way you describe it is correct. Now for people that aren't getting prescribed TRT, but want the increase in testosterone, there are these plant compounds like Tonga Ali and another one, which is very interesting. It's a Nigerian shrub called T Fidogia agrestis. And it mimics luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone that comes out of the hypothalamus that stimulates the testes if you got those and the ovaries if you've got those to make more testosterone or estrogen. And so those two herbal supplements together can give a significant boost in free and active testosterone. So you said Tongat Ali can give you 100 to 200. Yeah, about that. Well, what does the other one give you? Fidogia is usually taken at about 600 milligrams. Um, and that can, uh, the, the most dramatic effect I've ever seen was somebody who had his testosterone down in the low 
twos or I think it was like low twos, and it, he got it up to the 700 range. Which, but really? that's a, but that's an outlier, right? Most people are going to see about a three to 400 point increase. And that's what the two of them syn- synergistically. Yeah. Fidogia work. will actually make the testes grow. It's a really? it's a, it's a noticeable difference. So the, everybody wants that. Well, the reason I know about this stuff, uh, people are probably thinking like you know Huberman's running gear out of the back of his car. And that's not what this is about. Is that I, I do it a certain amount of work with military and I do a certain amount of work with professional athletes who cannot take androgen compounds out of a syringe because they'll lose their job. Right. Or they've been doing that and they want to come off. Although, and I'm not going to out the organization, but there is one major professional sports organization where let's just say if somebody gets injured, they have permission to take up to 200 milligrams a week of testosterone. Soccer. No. No? No. Shit. No. But good guess. Uh, <laughs> you almost got me there because <laughs> I almost countered with, with the actual thing that it is. Hockey? Uh, no. Although those guys have the, the, head, injuries. the head injuries. So That's actually, so that right? the head injury thing is, is, is a serious problem, obviously. So testosterone has the effects we're all aware of, like deepening the voice, facial hair, muscle growth, recovery, etc. Mostly because testosterone increases protein synthesis. You look at a, a young male in puberty, it's a protein synthesis machine. Yeah. They eat, they eat, they eat, and they just grow and grow and grow, and they're putting on muscles and they're lean, and, you know. So, most often they're lean. But in any case, testosterone has some very interesting effects on the brain. The, the major mental effect of testosterone is it makes effort feel good.